Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Audio Files. My name is Steve Westman. Thank you for watching. Now, today I want to just discuss the different banners on the top of the Mobile Fidelity albums. Most of you guys probably already know this, um, but I have a sort of a theory as well about the silver label, uh, the way Mobile Fidelity promotes and markets a silver label and what the differences are. So I want to jump into that and just have a quick little video about those differences. So as we all know, here's your classic Mobile Fidelity original master recording. So what that means is that the original master tapes were used to cut the lacquer for this album. Simple, right? I think so. But we have a different one here. This is a, we call the silver label. On the very top, the banner says Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. So what that means is that for whatever reason, the master tapes were not used to cut this album. Um, they might have been lost, defective, the tapes might have stretched, who knows, they were not used to cut this album. But I find it very interesting as well because there's a third banner, okay, that says Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, but it doesn't have a silver label on it. And I'll show you that one. A lot of you recognize this album from the Mars Hotel. Again, on the top, it says Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, but it's not a silver label. So what gives? Is there a difference? From my research and my humble opinion, I don't think there's a difference at all, at all, between the silver label and when you see a non-silver label Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. My example would be this. So on the back it says here, they use the Gain 2 Ultra Analog System when they press this album, when they master this album. On the back of this album, it says here, the Gain 2 Ultra System Analog was mastered on as well. So the exact same technology was used for both albums. The master tapes were not used for either album as well. But when the silver labels come out, I mean, this one was it came out a few years ago. The price point, I believe, was $24.99. Um, whereas this guy here is cut RPM, 45 RPM. Uh, you know, was priced at, what, $49.99 or $95, a little bit more. So I think it has a lot to do with licensing and copyright uh, agreements that Mobile Fidelity um, has to make with the record company and of course the different artists um, that are on this album. So I think that's where the differences are. So when you see a Mobile Fidelity silver label, such as this one here, um, the price point is different, I believe, because the licensing agreements or the copyright agreements aren't as high or as expensive as let's say having to get the agreements, the license agreements to uh, you know reissue a Grateful Dead album such as this one. So that is my opinion there. Again, all my silver labels are do sound amazing. I'm very impressed with them. Uh, you can't go wrong from a price point perspective. Incredible albums. Again, they're using the same technology um, as you know the ones you know the ones that say original master recording on the top as well. So the only difference being is that the you know the you know, the master tape wasn't being used. Sometimes it was just the backup tape, which pretty much you know is the, almost the same, right? So I mean you're getting a lot of great value in the silver album, silver label, and they're using this exact same technology, and it's of course mastered the same using the analog to ultra system as well. So that's my theory on the three different uh, banners on top in case you guys were wondering. Um, so yeah, let me know um, if you have any more questions, comments on the bottom. Uh, again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for uh, listening today. If you haven't already, subscribe on the bottom. It does help me out. And then uh, one last thing, spin those records, turn that music up. We'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.